my daughter kicked me in the nuts tonight pretty darn good and got me thinking about Captain America. Uh, bear with me, I will connect those dots. But uh, I uh, probably understandably lost it on her pretty hard. Uh, this was after 10, 15 minutes of telling her to stop jumping on the couch and her brother and me and just, uh, you know, one time too many. She just hopped up on the couch, nice big old wind up, bunny hop, ran into daddy's lap, got the family jewels real good. And I let my emotions out pretty uh, unabashedly. So, you know, needless to say, I have a crying daughter on my hands and a son who's angry at me for being so mean to his sister. And it just uh, got me thinking about the mood I was in before this all happened. Because I know there have been times when I could take a hit in the nuts from one of my kids who I love and didn't, didn't have that kind of reaction. So it occurred to me after a little bit of meditation, a little bit of exercise here, that uh, I was already not in a, the best mood uh, for, you know, I'm in my head about things, not uh, at my best, yeah, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever. Um, part of that I will attribute to the lack of workouts. I haven't uh, gotten out here for three or four days and I keep telling myself it's the weather, it's too cold, I can't go work out in the garage, it's too cold. And after, you know, five minutes out here sweating, uh, I feel fine. So it's one of those things you just have to work through. But it got me thinking about the super soldier serum uh, in the movie continuity not the comic continuity. Uh, so Stanley Tucci's character, Dr. Erskine, tells Steve Rogers that it amplifies everything. Uh, good becomes great, bad becomes worse, and reminds me of getting kicked in the nuts, actually. So I just was thinking about what kind of mental state I want to be in when a... Uh, kicked in the nuts, or a super soldier serum happens to fall in my lap. And I think it's like a good mindset to be in because it does amplify, you know, a sharp, sharp blow uh, or a great gift, you know, can really amplify your emotional state. And I think that's a good reason to just sort of always be and your best emotional state that you can be in. Uh, I would love to live my whole life in a headspace where I could get the super soldier serum injected into me and become Captain America worthy of Thor's hammer, not Red Skull, who gets banished to Vormir and has to kill Black Widow. So, yeah, that's kind of the, uh, the nerd analogy of the night. Um, and then even deeper cut, I suppose, I started wondering about Black Panther and Dr. Erskine and the Super Soldier Serum. And this is way less philosophical and a little bit more of a nerd tangent. So if you're done with the uh, nerdy stuff and you only tuned in for the philosophy lesson, you can, you can go ahead and switch off now. But if you want to get super sweaty with me, uh, I'm about to get sweaty. So Erskine obviously knew um, Howard Stark back at the early days of Project Rebirth and seems to be around the same time that Stark acquired himself a hunk of vibranium. 
Now, I don't know if we ever get in continuity answers for where, how he acquired vibranium. Um, but stands to reason he crossed paths with a Wakandan at some point. And it makes me wonder if he was allowed to visit there and was gifted, you know, a small chunk of vibranium because he showed that he was, you know, worthy. That, that seems unlikely. I think it's more than likely somebody smuggled it out. Um, but Erskine, you know, very well could have crossed paths with, uh, let's see, T'Challa, T'Chaka's the next generation back. I'm not sure how long he was active as Black Panther, if he was around during World War II. Um, Wakandan lifespans seem to be pretty normal. So whoever the Black Panther was during World War II, I'm wondering if Erskine came across one of these people as far as being inspired to create the Super Soldier Serum because they're remarkably similar traits. When you look at uh, Black Panther and Cap, when they go head to head in Civil War, they're matching each other pretty closely in terms of strength, agility, etc. And then we see that side by side shot in Infinity War. They're running side by side. They have basically the equivalent power sets. So I'm thinking the Super Soldier Serum is Erskine's attempt to duplicate the heart shaped herb effects. Um, you know, it's took him a while to perfect it. Uh, he doesn't really talk about where he got the idea, the inspiration, or what he based it on. You know, he talks about amplifying uh, human condition. And that is kind of what the uh, heart shaped herb does. It just sort of enhances peak uh, human performance. Uh, we get, uh, and it's permanent. It's not something that you have to like constantly inject or anything. So it has roughly the same effect, only without having to do the, uh, the Vita rays and everything. So Erskine obviously came up with a different formula for it, but that's just like a little theory that I came up with as far as like the relationship between their two power sets is too similar to just be coincidence in my opinion. So I gotta wonder if Stanley Tucci's got a uh, an Origins movie coming up where he uh, gets to team up with or meet uh, uh, Black Panther from the, I don't know, 20s or 30s or something. And maybe he gets a blood sample from him or something and just kind of bases it off of that because he, he's a brilliant scientist, obviously. It's not to say he couldn't come up with it on his own, but he also could have reverse engineered it very closely uh, and come up with different solutions for you know problems he ran into duplicating it. And that's kind of what I think, that's, uh, that's my opinion. That's where I think the super soldier serum came from. I think it's derived uh, indirectly from the heart-shaped herb. So that's uh, it's a little out there, but I think it's worth considering. So um, yeah, I have to thank my daughter for stepping on my nuts tonight and giving me this nerd epiphany. And uh, thank all of you for tuning in and listening to my rants once again.